can barely contain my excitement. In just a few days, an estimated 31 million Americans will have a chance to see a total eclipse zoom by in the sky. And we do choose the word zoom specifically because despite the whole event lasting about an hour and a half, the sky will only be dark for roughly three to four minutes in most places because of the eclipse's tremendous speed. First, let's go through some quick science. Here's what happens with a solar eclipse. The moon moves between the sun and the earth, and that creates a shadow that blocks the sun from our view. The shadow is comprised of two different cones called the umbra, which is in the center, and the penumbra, which is on the outer part. Those who are in totality, who see the sky go completely dark, they are in the umbra. That's going to span about 115 miles wide. And the significantly larger penumbra creates a partial eclipse, which is going to be visible to most parts of the United States, actually. Now, the umbra moves at more than 1,500 miles an hour. And here's an interesting scientific fact. Depending on how far your location is from the moon, it can travel faster. For example, eclipse trackers estimate that it's going to move at roughly 1,700 miles per hour in Dallas. And uh, when it comes to Indianapolis, it's almost 2,000 miles per hour. You want to understand how fast that is? We can help you out. The average bird, for example, travels between 20 to 30 miles per hour. But let's compare it to planes. A typical commercial flight at cruising altitude moves at roughly 575 miles per hour. The fastest commercial flight ever, the Concorde, still, that's slower than this eclipse is moving. That supersonic commercial aircraft, which still holds the record for the fastest transatlantic commercial flight, is only 1,350 miles per hour. Now, there is one thing that is faster than the eclipse. That's fighter jets. NASA's experimental X-43A unmanned jet actually can reach speeds of nearly 7,000 miles per hour. At least it's done so during testing. And the total solar eclipse is expected to begin Monday afternoon. I'm going to be out there in the path of totality. The whole team is going to be bringing you live coverage on our special Total Eclipse of the Heartland. That starts at 2 p.m. Eastern.